beyond the technical skills you need to be smart enough to get the interview calls and crack them you might be extremely strong in technical side but if you don't know how to optimize your resume how to get interview calls how to drive the interviews and how to impress the hiring manager then this technical skills won't help you i have seen many people who are extremely good at technical side but unable to get a job on other hand i have seen people who are average in technical skills but smart enough to get job so in part 2 of this video let's be enough smart to get the job if you haven't watched the part 1 of this road map you must watch that after this video in the first part of the road map we saw the de interview process now we will see whole end to end hiring process of a data engineer so that we will get what to fix how to fix when to fix where to fix there is a requirement in the data engineering team the hiring manager will tell to hr that i will need a junior data engineer with 3 to 4 years of experience in sql python spark and airflow uh, then hr will post this job on nokri on linkedin or their own portal thousands of applicants will apply for this job but hr won't be able to read all the resumes so they will use the ats which is applicant tracking system through which they will filter out 10 to 20 resumes out of that 1000 resumes this 10 to 20 resumes will glimpse by the hr and out of that final 5 to 7 resume will be sent to the hiring manager so this 5 to 7 people will get chance to interview for this company step 10 is resume building this is a huge topic and you saw the importance of resume in the hiring process i cannot explain each and everything about resume building i will say there is two filters before this resume goes to the technical manager that is the ats and the hr you should keep this in your mind and build the resume accordingly your resume should have the high ats score and also if an hr see your resume he or she can understand each and everything that is written in your resume my resume was in top 1% of data engineers i will show you how i have built this resume in another video step 11 is nokri.com optimization it is tricky and complex process but i will suggest go to the youtube videos and try to optimize that i will try to bring a video on that as well but you have to make sure that you get at least 200 appearances a day so that you get more calls the more calls means the more chances to crack the interviews there is all you already lost the battle if you are not getting the interview calls so make sure you you do a lot of hard work on the optimization of the nokri.com once you have the enough calls you will see the improvement in your interview giving process step 12 which company should target i see people start directly applying for the product companies and target i want to get into the product but let's be honest it is not easy to get into products because already there is a huge competition of good brands if you are new in the data engineering i would suggest to try uh, to get into a normal companies like tcs cognizant infosys wipro why because it is easier to crack you will get a backup offer on on that basis you can actually uh, resign and third thing they will wait for your notice period once you have resigned on the basis of this offer you, then you can try to crack the product companies another option is to join the services and get the hands on experience once you are good at data engineering then you can start applying for the product companies after gaining 1 to 2 years of experience in the services step 13 convincing the hr the first person you will speak to is the hr usually over a phone call they have spoken to hundreds of candidates and can tell in 2 minutes whether you are actually a data engineer or just pretending you must sound confident clear and genuine if you convince this to hr in the first call your profile will go ahead and then you can get give the interviews step 14 interview cracking tips start learning how to give interviews smartly i will make a dedicated video on this but here is a quick tip for you don't treat it like a one sided question answer session most candidates let the interview control the entire flow instead make a conversation and guide the discussion towards the topic you are confident in this one skill alone can improve your interview performance massively step 15 presenting projects in the interviews in l2 and l3 round your project will be a star if you have copied the project from the internet you will definitely going to struggle in this rounds instead pick a real world problem and try to solve by yourself if you are able to do that now you know each and everything about this project when you are in the l2 and l3 round you will expand each and everything about project and you will crack this interview step 16 how to revise actually this whole process is of 3 to 6 months and there is high chances you will start forgetting once you start learning the new skill this happened with me as well when i was learning the sql i was forgetting this spark when i was learning this spark i was forgetting the python and so on so to overcome this problem what i have done i have created the notes and i have dedicated one single day for the revision on that day i used to revise all the previous topics that i have studied and this helped me in gaining the knowledge day by day step 17 the mock interviews mock interviews are very important in identifying your gaps try to find the people who are already working as a data engineer or senior data engineers in the industry and ask them if they can take your mock interviews 
If that's not possible, use the AI tools like GPT for the mock interviews. I will show you exactly how to do that in a detailed video. The final step, the step 18, excel in the job. Once you get the job, don't relax soon. You need to work 10 times more as compared to your colleagues because you are new and you don't have the previous experience. To be at, at that level, you need to work hard to learn fast and deliver faster. Over the time, you will start getting the confidence. Also, you will get the knowledge about the data engineering. And with time, you will become a very strong data engineer. If you follow this roadmap end to end, I'm 100% sure you will get into the data engineering and excel in the job as well. Follow Data with Pranjal for more such videos.